Good morning. It's October 29th, 2022, and we are again gathering together to hear the Word of God this weekend. And here is a letter from Brother Joseph Branham at the Branham Tabernacle in Jeffersonville, Indiana. Now here is Brother Joseph Branham. Dear Lord's Lambs, how our hearts yearn for this day each week when we can unite together from around the world to hear the voice of God speak to us the word of eternal life. There is nothing else that satisfies our soul and quenches our thirst but the voice of God. You told us, Father, that the great harvest field is white, ripe, and the grain is now ready for the great threshing time. The grain is now laying in the presence of the sun and ripening to the kingdom of God. We stand, Father, to our conviction of what we know to be the truth. Your voice on tape is the only voice that will perfect us, your bride. It is hard as we are so misunderstood by our brothers and sisters. We beg and plead with them not to run from his presence, but to run into his presence. We know there are many anointed men you have chosen and placed to look over your flocks who love this message with all their hearts. But Father, they fail to place your vindicated voice on tape before them. They fail to tell them that this is a one-man message. and that you've chose the man to lead your bride. They fail to tell them that your voice is the only voice that will unite and perfect your bride. I must cry out against it cry out against everything and everybody that is against playing your tapes in their churches. Cry out against their work. Cry out against their church. Cry out against their prophets. Cry out against their ministers. Cry out against their priests. I must cry against the whole thing. Say, I come down to join up with you guys, you know, I believe I'll tell you what I'll do. I've got just a little thing here. And I believe I can make it a bring us all together and do this, that, or the other. I must cry out against it as only your words spoken by your prophet can bring us together. How can their preaching, they all disagree with each other and see things differently from one another except one thing they all agree on not playing tapes in their churches how can that be father you told us we must have one absolute which is your word you told us your word comes to your prophet only you told us he is the only one that can interpret your word you told us that every minister, every lay member, every human can only say what he said. His voice is the only voice that is vindicated by your pillar of fire to be thus saith the Lord. I'm not saying they are false or shouldn't preach, nor am I saying the Lord is not with them or they aren't anointed and called to preach. But I must cry out against them when they will not tell their people that listening to the tapes is the most important thing they can do. 
To change one jot or one tittle is death. You have provided a way for your bride to hear, Thus saith the Lord, with their own ears. How can they not preach to their people that it is the most important message they must hear? It is the only message I can say amen to every word. As it isn't a man's word, or a man's interpretation of your word. It is your pure word. You said the message and the messenger are the same. Your prophet spoke it and you would bring it to pass. Your word spoken by your prophet needs no interpretation. As it is the son of man speaking directly to his bride. I must beg the people. Come back to your first love. Come back to what you know is, thus saith the Lord. If you've been wondering which way to go or what to do, come on, get on the ship with us tonight. We're going down to Nineveh to cry out. We've got a duty before God. That's this message on tape. We believe that the coming of the Lord is at hand and he is going to have a bride and we're getting ready. We don't want nothing but the pure word of God spoken by his prophet. We're going to glory, come join in our ship. If you believe this message is the truth, and worth living for, worth dying for, come join us this Sunday at 12 p.m. Jeffersonville time as we hear a message we believe is vital and urgent for us to hear. A man running from the presence of the Lord, 65-0217. You're my lambs, how is that? You're the Lord's lambs that he has let me feed. Brother Joseph Branham. Scriptures to read. Jonah chapter one, verses one through three. Malachi chapter four. St. John chapter 14, verse 12. Luke chapter 17, verse 30. I hope and pray that the words that I have read from this vindicated prophet's letter to the Bride of Christ around the world has sunk deep in your heart as it has mine. I pray that God will give you grace to believe all the word and not be ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Share the link of this YouTube video with your friends and family and those that are, are in your WhatsApp groups or Telegram groups. And let the people around you know where you stand. I remember Brother Branham saying during the hookups in his day, he says, say amen and let the people around you know where you stand. So today, Share the link and get the people to hear what the prophet has warned us today to get back to the word and put the prophet back in our pulpit. For he's cried out against our churches and our priests and our, our pastors who are against pressing play. Now we need to make our stand. God bless you and shalom.